Hello all, I am Siddharth Kaul and I welcome you to Edupedia World. In this video, we are going to take a closer look into function handles. So what is a function handle? A function handle is a MATLAB specific data type that stores an association to a function. Basically using function handle, we can call the function from anywhere in the program. The function can be called even outside the scope of the function itself. Points 1, 2, 3 and 4 highlight the typical uses of a function handle. First use is that using function handle we can pass a function to another function much like function of a function. This we often do when we are performing integration over a limit or doing optimization over a limit. Second is that using the function handle we can specify callback function. Say for example we want to respond to a UI event or to a trigger event or say we want to interact with data acquisition hardware, we can use function handle as callbacks to those events. Third is anonymous function and inline functions can be stored in a function handle instead of storing them in a separate file. Fourth is the main ad fourth and the main advantage as discussed before is that we can call a local function from outside its scope. We can see whether a variable h is a function handle using a is a function. Creating function handles. The syntax for creating a function handle is shown in line 1. Here the function name is preceded with an at the rate sign. Say here there is a function called my function we create a handle named f. So we will write something like this f is equal to at the rate my function. This makes f as a function handle for my function. The function is called using a handle in the same way the function is called using a function name. For example, see the box 2. We have a function compute square that takes a value x and then does the square and returns the value of y. We created a function handle f using at the rate compute square. And then we created a variable a with value 4 and we pass this a in the same way we would pass it to a function. The statement will look something like b is equal to f of a and value we will get is square of a. In cases where the function does not require any inputs, we can call the function with empty parenthesis as done in box 3. We have a handle h and we have given it function handle as at the rate once without any parenthesis. If the handle h is assigned to another variable without parenthesis, then the assignment will create another function handle. Function handles are variables that we can pass to other functions. For example, to calculate integral of x2 on range 0 to 1 as shown in the code on the right, we can write like x equal to integral f 0 comma 1. That will do the integration of the function f from 0 to 1. Function handles store the absolute part to the function. So when we have a valid handle, we can invoke the function from any location. The good thing about this is that we do not have to specify the path to the function when creating the handle. We only have to give the function name. There are certain things that we need to keep in mind when creating handles to the function. When creating the function handles, there are some points to remember. First is the name length. Each part of function name including the package and class names must be less than the number specified by name length max variable. Otherwise, MATLAB will truncate the latter part of the name. Second is the scope. The function must be in scope at the time we are creating the function handle. Therefore, the function must be on the MATLAB path or in the current folder for us to create a function handle. Third is precedence. When there are multiple functions with the same name, MATLAB uses the same precedence rules to define the function handles as it does to call the functions. Fourth is overloading. If the function that, ha that has been specified overloads a function in a class that is not a fundamental MATLAB class, the function then is not associated with the function handle at the time it is constructed. Instead of associating at that assignment point of time, MATLAB considers the input arguments and then determines which implementation to call at the time of evaluation. Handles to anonymous functions Handles to anonymous functions can be created in a similar way we create handle to normal functions. An anonymous function is a one-line expression based MATLAB function that does not require a program file. The syntax for the same is highlighted in yellow. We construct a handle to an anonymous function by defining the body of the function that is anonymous underscore function in the syntax and we have a comma separated list of input arguments to the anonymous function argument list. 
the syntax for anonymous function is h equal to at the rate we have argument list and then we have our anonymous function so example for the same follows the syntax we have a function handle sqr with argument n and function is square of n so we use this handle just like we would we would use the function x equal to uh, sqr and we pass 3 as an input argument so the output we get is the square of 3 that is nothing but 9 arrays of function handle one of the questions that can arise that there is a is there a possibility that there can exist an array of function handles yes of course there is a possibility we can create an array of function handles by collecting them into a cell or a structure array the first box shows how to store them in cell using curly braces all the function handles are clubbed together in a cell array c we can use the function handle by referring to that cell that stores the appropriate function handle an example to use handle of cosine is demonstrated which is at location 2 of cell c and we pass pi to it to get an output of minus 1 we can store function handle in a structure array as shown in the second box we have three fields that will act as an individual handler for each of the three functions we have a field that handles sign we have a field a that handles sign we have a field b that handles cos and field c that handles tan tangent so using dot notation and field name we can pass our input argument to sign and get a value out of it so here in the example i have passed value of pi by 2 to the function handle of sign that is s dot a and we got an output as 1 passing functions to another function we can use function handle as input arguments to other functions which are called functions of functions these function evaluate mathematical expression over a range of values a typical function functions include integral quad 2d f0 and function minimum bound for example to find the integral of a natural log from say 0 to 5 we will pass a handle to log function to integral similarly integral can be done for sine and exponential function over a range it has been shown in q2 and q3 the integral for sine over the range a and b is done in q2 and integral of for exponential is done over a to b in q3 so we get our appropriate output in q2 and q3 calling local functions using function handles we can call local function using function handle the example here explains how to create handles to local functions if a function returns the handles to a local function you can call the local functions outside of the main function this way we can have multiple callable functions in a single file basically this ellipse val values is a main function that will be called from outside this and this function will return the structure of a function handles to the calling variables so we have three local function that is focus uh, compute focus compute eccentricity and compute area all these three uh, functions have handles that are defined in the main function that is the ellipse values function they are assigned to a structure with field name focus eccentricity and area respectively the function will return structure with first field name focus that is handled to the function compute focus second field name eccentricity that is handled to function compute eccentricity and then we have a field name area that is handled to the function compute area so how to use this implementation is shown in the box on the right we have variable h that call the main ellipse values function that now becomes a structure with field name focus integral eccentricity and area having handle to its own functions we can call the appropriate function by referring to the field name as done for area so we have a h fall dot notation followed by field name that is area and passing the input arguments comparing handles constructed from named function MATLAB considers function handles that you construct from the same named function to be equal. So if we do a comparison using a is equal function for two same handles, we will get value of 1, saying that yes, they are equal. Even if we save these handles to a MAT file and then load them back into workspace, they will still be considered as equal. Now the question arises, what about the anonymous function? are the uh, handles to them still the same the answer to this question is that handles to the anonymous function are not the same so to understand why 
let's take an example as shown on the left we have h1 that has some anonymous function and h2 that has the same anonymous function both have a non argument variable a and an input argument x but it cannot be guaranteed that the frozen values of non argument in this case the variable a will have the same value for both the handles hence when these two are compared using is equal function matlab returns a zero saying that they are not equal but in case if we make a copy of h1 into h2 as done on the right in that case matlab will return one saying that they are equal there are two cases in comparison of handles for nested functions consider the example shown here there are two handles h1 and h2 that both handles the function find z in case 1 if both the handles are being constructed using the same function call as shown in 1 then they are considered to be equal by matlab here we have called only we have called only one time and we are using the both h1 and h2 for comparison in case 2 if the handles belong to a different call statement like shown in 2 where h1 belongs to one call statement and q1 belongs to second call statement matlab will not consider them to be equal this concludes our video on function handles in the next video we are going to take deeper look into mapping data structure classes and objects so until then please subscribe and thanks for watching